Welcome back, everyone. It's the leading cause of death for young children in Florida, drowning. Yes, it is. And so far this year, nearly 60 children have drowned across the state, many of them right here in South Florida. But a new device which uses an underwater camera and alert system may help stop future tragedy. Kim Wynn has more on the new technology and how one mother says that it could have saved her daughter's life. Drowning is silent. So it's not like the movies you're welling your arms around. That's the message Sophia Brzez shares with parents and schools when it comes to water safety and kids. I love to get people knowing the dangers and, you know, the, the water can be fun, but you also have to be safe around the water. A painful lesson she's reminded of around this time every year. This month, July 22nd, will be her sixth year um, since she's passed. July 2018. We were at my mom's house. It was Sunday. Brzez says she and her daughter, 23 month old Soraya Stevens, were at a family get together. At some point, all of a sudden, things got quiet. I just heard screaming. And by the time I got out there, <coughs> Soraya was already on the floor. And one of my sisters was <sighs> performing CPR on her. The toddler drowned in the family pool one week before she was supposed to start her first swimming lesson. So Brzez says for the past six years, she's felt every emotion. Anger, it was guilt. Tragedy, the creators of a new AI-powered pool alarm say can strike at any moment. Those 30 to 40 seconds, something can happen. This device called a Milo was created last year and acts as a virtual lifeguard. It has the eyes of the lifeguard and it has the brains of the lifeguard. It sends text alerts when someone is approaching or entering the pool. It also sets off an alarm in the pool and in your home if someone appears to be drowning. The essence of the device is to give you another layer of safety. Officials say Florida leads the nation in child drownings. They also say that most child drownings happen in a pool at home. Case in point, July 27th. Five-year-old Mario Chavez drowned in a family member's swimming pool in southwest Miami-Dade County. And in June, eight-year-old Ryan Amiche drowned in a neighbor's pool in Fort Lauderdale. The Florida Department of Children and Families reports 58 children have drowned in the state this year, 99 last year. Drownings, Brise says, can be prevented with these things in mind. Always have a water watcher, someone to watch someone while they're in the pool and never swim alone. Um, if your kids go into the water, make sure they have like bright color swimsuits. As painful as it is to talk about, she says it's worth it if it saves a life. I feel like Soraya didn't pass in vain. If my story can save just one family from the tragedy that I'm going through every day. Kim Wynn, NBC6 News.